Hey, welcome back to 1 Samuel. Today we're going to be in 1 Samuel chapter 8, verses 1 to 5. Let's, uh, let's read them out. Now it came to pass, when Samuel was old, that he made his sons judges over Israel. The name of his firstborn was Joel, and the name of his second, Abijah. And they were judges in Beersheba. But his sons did not walk in his ways. They turned aside after dishonest gain, took bribes, and perverted justice. Then all the elders of Israel gathered together and came to Samuel at Ramah and said to him, Look, you are old and your sons do not walk in your ways. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. Make us a king like all the nations? Boy, I'll bet you Samuel was a little bit uh, surprised when that came up. Make us a king to judge us like all the nations? So here's the way it was with the other nations. They would have a king, and that king was the one that led them into battle. That king was the one that made decisions. You know, it was, it was just basic, the same basic pattern of monarchy you and I, I'm sure, know about and, and, and realize how that works. Israel was different. As I said yesterday, Israel was on a plan not of kings, but of judges. Okay, so God would appoint a leader, a leader here, a leader there. There was a wide variety. I mean, from from educated people to, uh, to very primitive uh, people, maybe some even some illiterate people. But God would pick someone, and if they were willing to be consecrated to him, he would use them. That person became then a judge over Israel, basically the leader of the nation, the deliverer. They don't like that here. They say, look, your sons are wrong. And that's interesting, isn't it? How many times we find in the Bible and in real life that the, the sons of a pastor or of a spiritual leader uh, turn out to be exactly opposite him, you know, not spiritually tuned up. Very sad. But that's the case here. Samuel's sons are not going in the right path at all. Previous to Samuel, we had Eli, who was the, the high priest, the leader of Israel, and his two sons, Hophni and Phinehas, were not, not good in any respect like e in those respects that Samuel was. So, so God had to get rid of them. So here we have uh, going to be a transition here if the people, if God goes with the people, uh, God is the leader, God is their king, and the judge is beneath God, and the judge is over the people. That's the old pattern. Now the people say, we're done with that, give us a king, like all the other nations. God wants his people to be distinct. He has a different plan for how things work in the church than they work in a corporation down the street, you know, some corporation that's trying to make money. God has a different plan. But here the people are ready to just have a nation and be like all the other nations. They want a king like all the others. So we'll see tomorrow morning what God's reaction to this is. And boy, is it interesting. Right now, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be right. We just pray that you'll help us to know who your leaders are, as we mentioned the other morning. Help us to be, let you be our king and not get in the way, Lord. Show us the pathway home. Show us how to be faithful in these intense times. Now, Lord, we thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. So they want a king like all the other nations. Boy, that in itself is very telling. May God help you and I to be his servants and his, keep his church distinct and on his plan, and he'll bless. God be with you.